Have you bought an Autobox Defender and thinking, is this even real? In this video, I'm gonna share to you how to spot the fake Autobox Defender apart from the price that will obviously cheaper and show you what the actual difference from the real one. Right now, I got this real and the fake Autobox Defender and I'm gonna try to compare it side by side and spot what makes a difference from the real and the fake Autobox Defender. Stay tuned. First is about the price, the original will cost you around $59.95 Australian dollar and you can get the fake one for around $15 to $20 dollar on some dodgy website or some marketplace. The price is really different but here as you can see, both of the cases almost had an identical box from afar. But when you take a closer look for more details, you can see some noticeable differences. First is the yellow color from the original version is lighter while the fake have a darker yellow. The fake barcode is bigger than the original one and in the original it's written that it's made in China since they're trying to be honest but the fake one is written as assembled in the USA. Next about the case, Autobox had three layers of protection which is the inside clip, rubber and the belt clip. From the first layer as you can see, they look very similar at the first glance but you can see in the top part on the front section, the authentic version had it written that it's made in from China while the fake has not written anything. Move on to the back shell, the back shell you can see a barcode sticker while the fake there's no barcode on it. And the font is bolder on the fake and there is a border along the tape for the fakes. Both cases have this soft pad but when I feel it, the original have a thicker and lighter color than the imitation. The fake pad color is a bit darker than the original version, again if you see it from the first glance, they look very so much similar. The second layer is the durable silicon. The authentic version is lighter and have more flexible than the fakes. The inside silicon also have a few differences when you touch and feel it. The fake is rougher and thicker and the fake looks so rigid but the authentic version is more flexible. Also if you can see this, there is some of the side is not straight aligned and looks like a cheap rubber. Even the card have sharp edges everywhere. Move on to the holster or the belt clip part. First is about this little thing. I don't know what to call this but the original holster always have two of them while the fake only have one. The original also had a smooth glossy finish on the inside while the fake has a dark finish inside out. The inside logo on the original is aligned with the top thingy while the fake is reverse. The logo on the clip is also deeper on the fake one. Apart from that, the cut is way cleaner on the original. There's no excuse to cut like this which I can find on one or two sides of the fake one, especially the hard corner that's harder to cut. The hook also I found the fake is a bit longer than the original but from what I found time to time, Autobox makes this hook shorter especially for the S9. I'm not really sure why but it's maybe for easier release. The standing view also had a significant difference especially the release button. I can easily release the clip using my pinky while the original clip I must use my thumb with extra power to release it. <coughs> So that's everything I can find between the fake and the real Autobox and how to actually spot the fake Autobox Defender series for Samsung Galaxy S8. So next time if you bought Autobox Defender series, make sure to check that point to ensure your phone is 100% protected from Autobox Drop Protection Plus. So if you're looking for real Autobox Defender series, you can find the link on the description below. You can buy it on Centricat.com.au also, if you like this kind of video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next video.